Hi everybody, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel. Today we're playing through another episode of The Witcher 3. The last one that I had posted uh, was one of the most emotional episodes I think I've posted so far. So we'll see what happens today. Every day is a different adventure and I have this whole plan in my head, but you never really know what you're gonna get into going into The Witcher. So I'm excited to hop in, let's go. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. I wonder if she still is in Novigrad with Tess. I wonder. Oh yeah, we have the Witcher, uh, the Griffin school gear to find. We still have one more, um, we still have one more piece to find. And then possibly we can start crafting that today. I know that you have to find a certain blacksmith in order to craft some of the pieces. So I know a few of you guys left some comments on where to find them. So I'll have to look back and I meant to make a note, but I forgot. Did we search everything in here? All right, so let's just kind of find our way back out of here. So dark in here. We did release the drawbridge, so we should be able to just Yep, use the bridge back out. I think I looted all of this. Yeah, because I remember talking about this area and how I would like to sleep here. I would probably choose the cots in between the windows, but it would probably be really cold. Okay, so let's go um, find this last piece of the griffin gear. I think it would be a really good upgrade for us if we can start using that gear. Oh my gosh, are those dogs bigger than normal? I don't remember them being that big. <laughs> They're ferocious. Oh. All right. So it's like over on this island over here. That bridge looks very broken. So does this one. So let's head over that way. And then we can just kind of like go back up. Actually, let's head here first, and then we can go check out these points. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Oh, look at all these poor people. Sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to be running into you. Not one of the Baron's men, are you? Do you imagine living in this area? I advise you well. Uh, we still have to go pick up our contract, like our completed contract after saving Letho from his whole craziness over there. Oh, is it because I used magic by accident? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to freak them out. I do want to quickly, before we move on, um, read through some of the quests that we had ended on. Someone in the comments reminded me that it is good to read through some of the quests in the end. Um, this one. As you recall, the self-proclaimed uh, the self-proclaimed sorry Baron of Velen had asked Geralt to find his missing family, and so ever a man of his word find them, he did. Tamara, the Baron's daughter, he found in Oxenfurt, where she had joined the Witch Hunters. As for Anna, the Baron's wife, she had been kidnapped by the crones and made their slave, in fulfillment of a bargain she had struck with them earlier. Hearing this, the Baron swore to free Anna, with or without the Witch's help, um, and set off to place in the bog where Geralt had seen his wife. Geralt decided to help the Baron and ventured with him into the bog. There they happened upon unexpected company, Tamara and a band of witch hunters, who had also set out in search of Anna. 
They joined forces and found Anna, sadly turned into a terrible beast by a curse the crones had cast. Geralt decided he would try to lift the curse and went to Johnny, the godling, for help. And Johnny, as always, proved very helpful indeed. He revealed to Geralt that the crones worked their magic in the cellar of the hut with the tapestry. When Geralt and uh, Graydon descended down into it, they found a collection of dolls with various items attached to them. They tried to lift the curse by removing the doll that represented Anna, but their efforts ended in catastrophe. Anna's curse was lifted, but she died soon afterwards, for the crones had constructed it to leave death as its parting gift. Following her mother's death, Tamara returned to Oxenfurt, her spirits crushed. The Baron is no less foul a mood, went back to Crow's Perch. Geralt watched him walk away and wondered if he would ever see the man again. In the end, Geralt decided he would look in on the Baron. When he reached Crow's Perch, he inquired after the man but was saddened to learn he was dead. The Lord of Velen had hanged himself, ending his reign and his sorrow. Oh, I just got chills reading that. <laughs> Remembering back to the last episode. All right. Were there any other ones that I wanted to read through? I know a lot of you in the comments were talking about which one was supposedly better and which ending could have been happier. But I think it's important to remember that either way, whatever we did and whatever choices that we decided to make, someone had to die. Whether it was the kids that were innocent and they had their whole lives to look forward to, or it was unfortunately the Baron and his wife. And at the end of the day, I mean, just like the Witcher says, he has a really great co uh, quote that I'm trying to put into some of the comments because I think that the quote in the end of the last episode where we see the Baron and Geralt goes off on a tangent about how no evil is evil. There is no lesser, there is no better. Um, and if you want to make choices in the end of the day where the choice regardless is evil, then you'd rather not make any choices at all. But we did have to make a choice. That's how we progress in the game is we make choices, just like in life. And I don't think that there was a better way. I mean, either way, someone's going to die, whether it's the innocent children or it's unfortunately the Baron and his wife and, and a town of people. So... Either way, it would have been unfortunate. And just like in life, you learn to live with the decisions that you make. So I know there's been some, there's been some talk in the, in the comment section about all of this. And I, I really enjoy reading everyone's feedback, but remember to give people compassion when they talk about their choices, because everyone is from different walks of life and everyone makes different choices all the time and some people have to live with those i mean we all have to live with our choices so instead of pointing fingers and looking at which one is more evil or less evil just remember that quote that Geralt said how evil is evil and there is no lesser there is no better it's very it's one of the things that i really really love about this game this game is uh it's pretty amazing it's pretty amazing that a video game um, can make you think outside of the box and kind of like take you away from reality for a second, but also interject in your daily life. It's very, Is it a hog to a hog? it's very that amazing. This, the developers did a, an amazing job with this game. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to be getting into, um, going into The Witcher 3. I knew that it, the storyline was deep. I mean... I'm also playing through The Last of Us now. The storyline on that is also very deep. Um, but it is, it's, this game is, is just amazing. It never ceases to amaze me. All right, let's go find the last bit of this skier over here. Come on, Roach. Okay. I'm just gonna cut through here. Oh, sorry. I 
thought that was a cliff for a second. <laughs> Alright, this looks like it's kind of the area. It's very swampy here. Hey there. How do I get in? I'm gonna try to go to the bridge. This is eerie. I wonder what this used to be before it got ransacked by the war. Hidden hold. sign say oh it's a fast travel point okay let's go inside it's very dark in here where's my cat potion is this it do i have it already equipped oh okay i forgot i equipped it i think it's why Skelligy, Gambeson, some Florins. Can we light this? Another few. Oh, is that a dead horse? Oh. Can I light this? Oh, I thought it would light the torch. and uh, something in a different language book is burned only a few pages still intact I wonder what the translation for this is it looks like a letter looks like it's addressed to somebody if I remember I can try to translate it Go up this ladder. <gasps> uh. A rune stone, white wolf hide. I don't know if we've seen that before. Where is this? this loot hmm let me see if I'll light if I can light this there go. that's much better all right can we go out this way like can I burn this maybe no can I walk through it oh creepy All right, let's drink some more cat eyes. I don't know why we're, we're, we're walking so slow. I'm pressing control, but it's not doing anything. <laughs> uh, okay. Looks like there's a monster's nest somewhere. Harpies got their nest here. Oh, there it is. We really, we walked on top of it. Some harpy eggs. Is this door open? Witcher George's confession. 
I, the undersigned George of Kagan, a witcher by trade, testify as follows. While traveling through Velen, I received a summons to provide professional testimony in matter of the accused Bartoslav of Lovefield. Oh, excuse me. This Bartoslav stands accused of causing several shipwrecks near the lighthouse, which it is his duty to keep. Ships led astray by errant signals from the lighthouse have repeatedly smashed against rocks near the shore, and the lighthouse keeper is held to be responsible for the state of the affairs. During the trial, Bartoslav testified that he was diligent in the fulfillment of his duties, and that accidents were caused by night wraiths deceiving sailors with their false glow. Seems plausible. Having investigated the area, I can testify that I found no trace of night wraith activity. There are likewise no signals of noon wraiths, memunes, um, urnymphs, or any other specters in the habit of misleading weary travelers' journey by foot, sea, or horse. I did, however, find the catastrophe's true cause, when they were not the fault of the night wraiths blamed by the accused, but neither were the faults of the lighthouse keeper himself. The accidents were caused by local hooligans, who had taken to lighting fires on the hill at night, and then robbing the ships that subsequently wrecked upon the shore. I was put on their trail by Bartoslav's son, who showed me the ashes from their misleading fires. My testimony shows that the lighthouse keeper, Bartoslav of Lovefield, is not guilty of the crimes in which he stands accused, and should be freed. I also ask humbly for the bailiff to be put to put the lighthouse keeper and his family under his protection. For in the light of the revelations, Bartoslav's son led me to discover there will surely be certain parties that cause for vengeance. I cannot undertake the task of protecting the family myself, for I have accepted a contract to kill a dragon said to be lurking atop the Crookback Hills, and so must return there post haste to kill the beast and complete my task. George of Kagan, Witcher. Transcribed by Vinzo Stock, Marshal to the Royal Prefecture in Gorsvelin. Interesting. Ball sticks letter. And we also got the last piece of the Witcher gear. May the gods smile on you and me, sis. Now I am asking you to read this careful, for what I got to say is important. As soon as you set hands on this writing, gallop off to that fence Kramer. What's based in Maribor? Tell him we've got some first class gear and Witcher sword diagrams to sell. I I can see you now scratching your head, or more likely your arse. And asking, did I hear that right? You sure did. So was my luck to come to care for a Witcher. What got one foot in the grave and the other hovering right above. I was sat there looking at the poor man suffer in agony. And thought to myself, you don't need his kit and these papers where he's going. Well, for us, that's fixings we need to get us started in the world of business. If we sell them for the right price, that is. I, I hear you fretting, so stop. You didn't take everything. In fact, nobody will even realize this stuff's missing. Sad though, ain't it? This witcher's a good man. First he helped the baronet solve the riddle of the lighthouse that was sending ships to the rocks. Then he killed that dragon, ate all the peasants. Problem is, the dragon's no easy pickings, and our valiant hero got quite the licking taking it out. He's done for, that's certain. So as soon as they bury him in the tomb on Crookback Hills, I'll head straight to your place. Come to think of it, I'm curious how they'll put him in that crypt after all. For word is, a vampire's made it his lair. P.S. I also lifted a few flasks off the Witcher, but since they're not likely to serve the journey, I'll sample them myself. See how Witcher Hooch goes down. Maybe we'll make a business out of that too. Uh, how much do you want to bet that that wasn't uh, Witcher Hooch? And maybe he drank something bad. <laughs> All right, well, we finally have everything that we need for the Griffin school, uh, school gear. Nice. So we should definitely go craft that next. Okay, so I remember someone in the comments saying that the armor in the Baron's like castle area can make our gear, but he can't make our swords. So we'll just have to keep asking around and see who can craft swords. I remember like when we would when we went to visit Tamara, um, there was a 
blacksmith there that I think said can craft like pretty fine stuff. So we'll maybe go ask him and then we can also check in on Tamara um, and see if we can find her. It did say that she left to go back. Um, Wait, where was she? She was in like a big town. Hang on, let me look. It said where she went back to and the town name is escaping me. Oxenvert, that's the one. Okay, let's find Oxenvert and we can go I can't remember if it was north or south. Okay, Castle Village. What are you looking at? Stop bothering us poor folk. So I wonder if they left him in the tree over here. <gasps> They should have cut him down by now, right? Okay. I wonder who's running this establishment now. Just because I'm curious, I want to go look. It still says Baron's Guard. I just want to look in here and see if there's, I don't know, anything in here. A letter maybe of guardian demands philip stranger your supply problem did not interest us the pact we signed was clear in the empire of nilfgaard demands you fulfill its terms if you do not our mutual obligations will be rendered null and void and your privileges will be revoked doesn't sound good A book. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. What's that? What is that? What is it, like stuff below me or something? What is this? Is this just left over from like when we were trying to find well, the kids? Bring out the gimp. Make the gimp sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? I feel like this is left over from when we were trying to find his wife. But maybe not. What is all of this? There's a lot of loot in here. Not looking good, I tell you. this place what is this it looks like some sort of weird shrine nothing a prayer Eternal fire, which lighteth our hearts and give us, giveth us light. Heat us with thy warmth, dry our tears, burn our foes, embrace our friends in thy care. Give my mother health, punish my father, help me fulfill my destiny. 
Sounds like Tamara is here. He has nothing to say about this. Maybe we came here too early. This is so strange. I don't... I don't know why this is here. I feel like I'm missing some sort of context. I'll follow the rest of this, but I don't know. Here we go. Loot. We can sell stuff for money. It's probably going to cost us a penny to craft this witcher gear. Okay. So these are just leftover, right? From when the... When we were searching for them? Okay. I guess I just... What, did I never follow it all the way down to the basement? This is so strange. Pam, param, pam, pam, param, pam, yeah, I guess param. I never, like, followed it, because... Okay. Wow, that was really confusing. But I don't... I never went all the way down to the basement, I guess. Or maybe I just walked out the door? <laughs> you seek trouble? No. Um, okay. Well. Flowing hangover. That was wild. Somehow we still made it through the quest line even without... Okay. Interesting. Okay, here's oh, Fergus. Hope may I assist you. Let's see if he can craft our griffin gear. Need some armor. Okay, so griffin boots. Nice, we have everything that we need for them. Items must be upgraded to Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. Bonus for three pieces. After using stamina to cast a sign, it is in its standard mode. The next sign cast within three seconds will be cast in standard mode without using stamina. Nice. For six pieces, the size of the Yurden Trap is increased by 40%. Wow. While you are within a Yurden Trap, stamina regeneration is increased by 5 per second and sign intensity by 100% and damage is reduced by 20. Wow. Very nice. Are these medium armor? What weight is this? Just says armor. All right, well, let's craft it. Very nice. And it's level 11, which is very good for what we have now. Okay, we're missing some meteorites, a meteorite silver plate. Okay. Griffin armor. We can buy that off of him. A meteorite silver plate. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Let's see. Can we craft it? Meteorite silver plate. Oh, we need some meteorite silver. Okay. Um, good, let's craft. Very cool. Okay, now we should be able to make it. Yeah, this is very expensive to craft. <laughs> we can sell him some stuff after, hopefully. Okay, we can make these two. How about the pants? Nice, we have everything for the pants too. Okay, so we made the, bo the boots, the chest, the gauntlets, and the trousers. Very nice. So the next one that we'll probably try to make is the superior, uh, superior Urson. But we do have the place to find the cat school gear too. So we'll have to look for that eventually. Very nice. Okay. Let's repair the sword. Repair. 
And this too. And we finally don't have to wear this silly outfit anymore. It's hard to believe that Yen would make us look like this. Yen is always getting on how we look. And she put us in this crazy armor set that looks like it's eating our arms. Ridiculous. No shot that she would make us wear that. Okay, so we do have a lot of stuff to sell him. Let's just sell him like all of this junk. I will ride over to Oxenfurt and see if there's someone there that can make our make our new weapons. For now, I'm just going to sell these for money. This one's actually a bit better. You plus one damage is shmeh. The critical hit chance is a little less as well. But 50% extra critical hit damage bonus and chance to cause bleeding, 30%. That's pretty good. I think I might switch to this one. Okay, we'll go ahead and sell this stuff. I just sell these too. I don't know if we'll need them for something though. It's not technically like Witcher gear. I'm just gonna save it just in case. <laughs> I'll just stick all of this crazy stuff that Yen gave us in our stash. If not for just like sentimental purposes, but <laughs> I don't know if we'll need it eventually. Okay. Sell that. And all of these. Okay. Master Armor Repair Kit. Nice, I didn't know we picked that one of those up. Okay, is there anything else that I can sell to this guy? No. So long. Okay. So, let's not look silly anymore. <laughs> is this stuff actually an upgrade, though? Not really for vitality, but the Witcher gear is pretty nice to have, especially those perks that you can unlock when you're wearing the entire set. That's that's very nice. Okay, so I'll put the gloves on and the pants and the shoes. All right, we kind of look like men in tights, but <laughs> anything's better than this crazy tiger outfit that we were wearing. <laughs> we're men. For men and tights. Come inside. Okay, I'm gonna go stash the rest of this ah! stuff that Yen gave us um, in our locker or in our chest. And then like I think I'm gonna head to Oxenfurt and see if that one guy can craft our weapons. I'm not sure if he can though. I just remember like bumping into him and him saying that. Um, he could craft fine things and that he wanted to craft more, but he wasn't sure. Okay. I am going to, um, meditate real quick too. We can meditate till morning. Okay. I'm just gonna go to a fast travel. One foot up face. So rude. Could use some hair of that hound. Oh, is the oh the fast travel is this way. I didn't realize that there was one here. Okay, let's go to Oxenfurt. I want to see if there's, like, maybe we can find Tamara. 
Uh, Tamara. I think I say her name wrong all the time. I want to see if she's in this town as well. Okay. I have to remember where I am. It's been a while since we've been here. I think I remember us walking this way. There's also a hair cuttery place in here. We should go see what that is. I haven't been in there yet. Is it this one? A barber? Oh. oh. Greetings, master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Can you put us in a ponytail? I like a new haircut. Shaved except for a ponytail. Shaved on sides, short on top, and a ponytail. What is the elven rebel cut? I'm scared. I'm going to pick a wrong one. What is an elven rebel? <gasps> loose, not too long. Long and loose would be nice. I like the pony. I think he looks good with a ponytail, though. Shaved on the side, short on top. And a ponytail. That kind of sounds like a mullet. Let's try this one. Hopefully this is what I think it is. Okay, yeah, that looks nice. Okay, and I like his beard the way that it is. Clean shaven, a full beard trimmed short, a bushy goatee, and a short mustache. <laughs> Friendly mutton chops, a mustache and a soul patch. Whoa. Um. Let's do full beard, trim short. I feel like that's what we have now, though. Maybe he'll make it look better. Okay, yeah, it looks like cleaned up a bit. So long. We look nice. Ooh, look at that ponytail. Very cool. This is really neat. All right, let's go try to find this blacksmith that I remember talking to. Armor's table. Inkeep, notice board. Maybe it was this way. If you guys lived in this world, would you want to live in a big city like this? Flame will burn away our sins. Or would you rather be out in the country dealing with what they deal with over... I mean, they deal with it here, too. What are all these things on the map? Oh, they're below me. All right. So, if I remember correctly... Tama Tamara was like in here. There she's maybe upstairs. What is that on the floor? Maybe it's just like clothes in a pile? No, it looks weird. Dang, she's not in here. I wonder if we'll ever run into her, like eventually. It's eight in the morning. I feel like she would be here. Hmm. Okay. I was hoping she would maybe be here. Oh my gosh. Anyways, where was that guy? Because this is just a wheel. Let me see. Locked. 
What does that say? Chip? The Bordozzi Brothers Auction House. Oh, it's an auction house. I want to see what's going on in here. Oh, never mind. I'm not allowed. I wonder if we'll eventually be allowed in there. Ooh, here's the guy. Oh, does he only make armor? Armor. Dying. Well, let's see if he'll craft our swords. I don't know. We'll talk to him. He's got some swords on the wall. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. I'd like you to craft me something. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. Nope. Can't make us the weapon. All right, we'll have to look around for someone that can make the weapon. Maybe we'll find someone when we go meet up with Triss. So long. Maybe we should go to Novigrad. Everyone to me! To me! Devil spawn. Hey, do you know where Tamara is? Oh, you. What are they trying to line up? Long live the king. All right. Is this the way we came in? This place is huge. I want to go inside all of the areas, but everywhere is locked. It's very cool. Look at like the ship masses in the distance. That's it's crazy looking. I wonder if we can get on the boat. I'm gonna go look real quick. The witch hunters defend us from monsters. Just you wait. The witch hunters will see to you. Oh really? Looks pretty cool. Do you want to be my boyfriend? I have um, a tattoo of the Victoria. It was the first ship to sail around the world, allegedly. <laughs> um, and I got it when I was 18 because I, I really love everything nautical. I have some like anchors on my ankles and stuff. I just like nautical, nautical stuff. I think it's really cool. All right. Let's see what is around us. We should go talk to that lady. We should go talk to... Dolores. Let's go do this one. Um, and then I think we should do like maybe a couple of side quests and then depending on time, start to head towards Novograd. But we'll see. I know you guys have been appreciating these longer videos, so I don't mind making them a little bit longer than two hours now. Okay, let's see where Dolores is. She's down south. Yeah, we should go talk to Dolores. And then I think we also have one for Kira. I know Kira wanted us to do something else, I thought. Let's go look. Okay. So she is way down there. Um, I say we just leave and then we do like some of these question marky things along the way. I think that's our best plan of action okay can i ride roach in here here i'm gonna see if i can go around the town this way move it Was that? Hey, Whitey, why'd your hair go white?
just want to get out of this town. You'll choke to death on three pounds of what I say about you, lot. Oops, sorry. I didn't really see you until it was too late. <laughs> okay, this is the way we came in. All right, I know where I am now. Well, everyone's just as sick here as they are out in the uh, countryside, so... I still think I would choose to live here if I... If I lived in this realm, I think I would still choose to live here. Just because, like, it's probably easier to get food and work. Order in the I mean, I'm all about, like, the simple life and, and stuff like that, but... Usually cities were the first to get, like, medicine. Oh, I don't want to run these kids over. Long live Medicine and, and stuff like that. I don't know. I think I would like to live in the city. Not so much now. <laughs> Crawl back under your rock. But if I lived back in this time, I would probably want to live in a city. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. It's taking me to Triss. Or no, it's taking me to Dolores, but I want to go do these question marks first. I think this is one of them. Yeah, it's like an abandoned place. People are coming back. Okay, so we open the merchant man over here. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Let's see, he only has 160 coin. <laughs> oh, I left the pants in here? What? All right, let's sell him these plates. Ladders, pipe. Flowers. The crones of Velen use these dolls to gain power over people. Let's sell those. We need to dismantle these shells. Where are the pearls that came from the other shells that I grabbed? Pretty sure I dismantled some shells. Do they go into my alchemy? Oh yeah, they're here. Okay. Ooh, they sell for some money. Where's the black pearl? I think we got a black. Oh yeah, this one, 28. Nice. So yeah, they sell for some good money. I think we also have some honeycomb, so we should try to sell that to that lady in White Orchard. Maybe after we get some more. We're not really like hurting for money right now, which is good. Farewell. Alright. So that's all that was here, just this town. And we opened that merchant. Okay, let's go see what this is. I'm like pretty close, so I'm just gonna walk. Oh, it's a nest. Okay. Oh, look, 
like there's a beehive. Okay, let's burn this down. And there's actually two nests over here. There's one right here. something else over here there's so many of them What's this did I loot that nest already what is this okay Oh, nice. It was like a double honeycomb. Ghoul Two nest. for one. Ought to just destroy it. Okay. Blow this one out, too. Nice. Okay. Nice. This was a good find. I don't think I've ever had a place where there were two nests back beside each other. What is this? Is this a giant catapult? Whoa. It is a giant catapult, isn't it? Or maybe it's like a crane? Seeing it how we're in like war times, it's probably like a catapult, right? Or is it just like a... A crane? It's broken now, whatever it is. All right. Let's go, um, we'll go like, we'll hug the coast here and make our way, make our way down. Let's get on Roach. I like these side questy areas. Go, go. <laughs> I like doing the question works. I feel like they're very like, oops, I thought I could pick stuff while I was on Roach. They're very like full of loot. They help itch that like loot, that loot itch that I have <laughs> in games like this. Are these good people? What was that about? What was that about? <laughs> they all just like simultaneously fist pumped the air. Very strange. Anyways. Um, okay. Fairy station. Oh, there's one behind me. Ever since the episode with the Baron, it's really hard for me to look at hanged people in this game now. It just brings back really awful memories. What is that? Fish? Yeah, they look like fish. This place is probably really smelly. It's just a little fisher's town. Got annihilated. Oh, 
rotting flesh. Oops, I didn't mean to turn that off. So dark in here. We'll get that stuff down there on our way out. There's some... Or maybe I can get there this way. Okay. We could take this boat. Where are we going next? Uh, no, it's okay. We can just follow this. I want to see what this is. It's whatever that town is over there. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. These guys have lots of, like, weapon repair kits on them. There's some pretty good loot in this town. Ooh, a diagram. Good thing I walked back here. Enhanced cursed oil. Let's go. Let's see if we can craft this. Ooh, we can. Nice. And some insectoid oil. White Rafford's decoction. Immediately restores a portion of vitality. Ooh, nice. I think I'm going to replace that with my cat eyes potion. Um, someone said I could also drink beer to... Is this beer? Vizemian's champion. I want to see what it does. I think it like restores my potions or something, right? Oh. It doesn't restore potions. <laughs> it makes me drug. Whoever said that tricked me. You're a troll. <laughs> oh no, now we're wasted. If I meditate, will it help? Here, we'll just meditate till the morning. <laughs> okay, we're better. <laughs> oh my goodness. It made me tear up a little bit from laughing. I just wanted to check on our blades, make sure they're not breaking. Alright, let's go see what this is. Doesn't look like. Yep. Drowners got to it. Abandoned site. Halviet Watchtower. <laughs> What was he doing? Summoning his other people? Was that like the master ghoul? Yeah, an owl ghoul. Mm, dang. Okay. Oh, his roar hurts. All right, he's dead. Anyone else want some? Oh, they're going to come back now. Okay. Nice. Area liberated. Okay. Oh, we get some crown for that. I never noticed that before. We get... Ooh, gotta go! Uh-oh! Oh, look at how many of them there are! I'm sorry! I thought since I liberated the town that I could have whatever I wanted. Oh boy. All right, where's Roach? Oh my God, all the way back there. I'm just gonna keep running. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, there's Roach. Get over here. We gotta go.
Great. Well, that was a mistake. Are they still following me? They're doing something. Why are they cheering? Why is everyone doing that to me? Did we do something in the last episode? I mean, the Baron... Are they cheering because the Baron died? If so, that's messed up. I don't remember seeing any of the guards doing that before. Why Come are they... Why are they cheering? It's so strange. All right, let's go look for this hidden treasure. Um, <laughs> we're not allowed back in that town, so we blew it. Um, and then I think after that, I might just use this like fast travel um, for the sake of time to, to go head down and talk to Dolores. Okay. Okay, so it's over hey here. Is it this guy? Nilfgaard notes. Join the army, they said. You'll kill Nordlings, they said. You'll carry the Great Sun banner to the Dragon Mountains. You'll make the Emperor proud. So I enlisted, and they sent me to Velen. This is what the whole North is like, then I swear on all gods. I don't have a clue why we're even bothering. Nothing but filth, cl uh, clap, and graves. I thought it said crap. It says clap. I've been sitting here for two months. Haven't seen a single Verdanian yet. Instead of fighting, they have us running errands, each stupider than the last. Now the sergeant sent us to find some chest. Bobbles robbed from the Nordling seams. Fell off a wagon as the transport was heading south. Fell off a wagon as transport was heading. Been wandering the swamp for three days now. Only thing we found was a whole riddled boot and a cow's skull. What a waste. But if we come back with the chest, they'll send us to the hole and deduct three weeks' wages. So we're going to keep searching for the glory of the fatherland. Okay, let's see if we can find this. Oh no, is it back where we... Oh no, it's over here. Okay. Let's see if we can find this chest. saddle what does it make you fa them faster or something where did the racing saddle go oh here it is oh yeah much better stamina Ooh, nice okay we'll sell the other one the loot okay cool wait something else shining over there what is this probably one of the drowners yeah okay all right so i'm gonna go ahead and walk back over to that little station fairy station town i'm just gonna go by foot collect some herbs on the way Look, there's people here now because oh because we helped the town oh look there's a ship i wonder if we can talk to uh, these people good eye oh what's on your mind Geralt. this is pretty cool everything. oh they said thank you <laughs> nothing on here 
This is pretty cool, though. Look at this big wheel. Do you imagine sailing a ship and being like a captain? All of the stuff that it goes into sailing. Ah! Crazy. All right. We fast travel now. Was it up north? Something? Oh no, it reset the main quest. Um, she was in Linden Vale, I think. Pretty sure Dolores was in Linden Vale. This looks like the town. Fields near the village are swarming with grubs. Turn over a bit of dirt with a spade and you'll see dozens of them. Once you've scrubbed them in water and rubbed them with herbs, they go down altogether pleasant. Ugh. Watch out, good folks. Some damned pestilence is eating our taters. <laughs> Taint beetles, but some what else? Some kind of pox that turns leaves black. As soon as you eye such leaves, tear them up and burn them at once, or we'll lose the whole harvest. Um, if hunger pains you so that you cannot think, another thought, tear up fresh mint leaves and chew them thoroughly. I've actually heard of this before. Sucking their oils will numb the pain and keep you going until your next meal. I've actually heard of the fresh mint leaves before. Um, but more as like, I mean, nowadays people are like using it for dieting. Um, but in this time, yeah, I mean, it could help curb your, curb your hunger. The last full moon I saw the wild hunt dash across the sky. It is a sign, war is coming, and with it no end of disease and misfortune. Plead the gods to spare us, for without their favor we shall most certainly perish. Top quality bog meat for sale. Fit for burning for fuel or giving to your better half. <laughs> Experience bleacher of hemp and linen, free negotiable, will gladly accept for food or drink. Okay. I know that we've sold to this man in here already. Was it under a Witcher contract? I guess it was a quest. A favor? No. Oh, the fall of the Reardon. Okay. She's inside. There she is. You've returned. What's become of my home? It's safe now. It's safe now. I thank you. This means so much. And perchance, did you find my chest? with my treasures i didn't actually no. look could be someone stole it perhaps so many years have passed but go back and search carefully i've naught else to offer you i'll do that time i was on my way gods guide you okay a beer and a cup in my right hand and over me coughing sick as cheer. Who's going to the ranch? I'm for crying out loud. Wait, how do I get that quest back? Oh, I just have to go back myself? This one. Okay. When Geralt arrived at the Reardon family manor, he found that Letho had long ago rid the place of beasts that once prowled it. All that was left for him to do was tell the woman that her former home was now safe. 
When Dolores heard the news, she was beside herself with joy, as the place was closely tied to her fondest childhood memories. To the days when she was young and beautiful and lived there with her brother and parents, Dolores moved back into her family manor and lived there in peace and comfort to the end of her days. All right. Well, let's go find this manor again. I can't actually remember where it is. I thought it was near this town. Hamlet. Oh, Reardon Manor. Okay. Abandon the state of the ones relative. Okay. Let's go. And we'll go search around. Try to find that chest. I remember um, her saying that the chest was there, but then I got so sidetracked by Letho that I just didn't know what was going on. Because I know he was... Um, he's from previous Witcher stories, but this is my first Witcher game, so... I was hoping that I was making the right decisions and like thinking way too much about Letho that I completely forgot about um, looting this area. So I think I'm actually gonna meditate until morning. It'll be easier in the in the in the daylight. All right, let's look around, see what we find. Can I get in here? Oh, I have to burn it down? The Wonders of Zeracania. During my many travels, I have seen countless extraordinary places. The primeval wilds of Brokolon, with trees so high their tips disappear in the clouds. Dwarven chambers carved into the guts of the Mahakam Mountains, with walls plated in pure gold. The ice palace of Pont Venus, adorned with stained frost windows. Yet yeah, none of these made such an impression on me, as did the rightly famed Zeracania. Yet while I was transversing the fiery mountains, I feared disappointment awaited me on the other side. I had heard many a fantastic tale about Zeracania, about its trackless sands, burnt white by the sun, its golden scale dragons, weaved their nests amidst the dunes, its hunchback horses, able to survive weeks without even a swallow of water, <laughs> camels, yet none seemed to be uh, to me at all plausible. I was sure all these sensations were but the figments of some bard's overactive imagination. I know this will be as hard for you to believe, dear reader, as it once was for me, but all of the unbelievable tales are true. Not only that, during my many months of travel, I came across wonders far surpassing any of those prior travelogues mentioned. I saw temples dedicated to the worship of dragons. I heard their voice, almost human, but reverberating with a thousand echoes. I met warrior maids clad in leopard skins, tattooed from head to foot, and giving no ground to witchers in mastery of the blade. I saw mages who channeled power from fire. I saw seemingly harmless flies whose solitary bite would make a man fall into a deep slumber, never to awaken, save to die. In short, Zeracania is a land where fantastic is normal and the impossible occurs daily. Interesting. It has to be such a crazy shock. I mean, I live in America and I've never been to like Egypt um, or any place other than just Canada. Oh my God, there's somebody else in here. <laughs> she scared me. <laughs> um, so I feel like if I went someplace like that, I mean, even just like pictures of it are just, it's, it's so wildly different from what I'm used to. I would love to visit one day. My number one place to visit um, if I were to travel outside of America would be Ireland. <laughs> I love Ireland. I think it's beautiful. Ireland is my my number one. On my, what is that list? Like a bucket list. Gnomish prankings. Scrub the greasings from a dog's ear. 
soak it in cotton's wine, place in a new lamp of greenish hue, and set said lamp betwixt an eager crowd. Forsooth shall they swear that a dog's head they behold, and this shall be no sorcery, but good be tidings. For the prince of Elander's nuptials, a paltry gnome armed with a miniature cutlass, be hid himself in a pie. When guests partook of the pricely banquet, Anon jumped out of the besabred gnome, giving a terrible fight fright to all at first, then causing much merriment once the jest was figured. A cynocephalus, or a dog head, in our tongue, a beast that it in the waste of Zagerbar dwells, has the corpus of a man but the head of a dog. The prince of Alander did receive such a specimen from the far off lands. The cynocephalus lets stream its urine with the trolling of every hour, both day and night. This is why the Zangerbarians engrave its likeness on timeless pieces and compasses. Interesting. Hey, it's Dolores. She scared me. We're just, you know, ransacking your home. It's a pretty nice, pretty nice home. We better find some money in here, Dolores. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to jump on you. Okay, where else to search? This place is huge. Light this candle. It's drafty in here. What's this? Oh, a barn key. This opens. Okay. Was that the barn that we just knocked the door down? <laughs> Was that a barn? I guess not. Also, we just blew her door down and she was just laying in bed and she didn't move. <laughs> Interesting. What's this? Hmm. Look like twins. Old woman's brother. Must be. Garlic. It's a lot of garlic. Who's that? Mm. All right, let's see what's upstairs. There's nothing but like crap here. Yeah, there's like nothing in these chests. I feel like if there was anything nice here, I would probably have been like already taken by the people who ransacked the place, unless it's like well hidden. I mean, we did just find that key. Well, the barn door is already open, so. Hey, a spindle. Can we get over there? Yeah, there's like nothing in here. Can I climb up this? Is there a ladder up there? There's like a landing, it looks like, with stuff on it. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Maybe from the outside? Let's try from the outside. Oh, 
Well, here's a door. Okay. Somebody lived here once. How does he know that? This. Hmm, something here. A chest. Oh, a hundred coin. Nice. Dolores. Dolores? Is that what's written on there? Dolores. Just Dolores. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we found the chest. Very nice. Okay. I think that's everything. I mean, there was that one. I don't know how to get up there. I'm going to search around a little bit and see if I can figure out how to get up here. There has to be a way to get up on the top of that barn, right? Oh, look, a cellar. Huh. <coughs> no one's been here in a long time. Ew. Oh, nice. We got a glyph. Like a good glyph, not a lesser glyph. Ooh, there's some good, goodish loot in here. Okay. Whoa, what's that? Ew, green mold? Skeleton in the closet. Happens in the best families. Skeleton in the closet? They plastered somebody in here? A man. His 30s, 40s, maybe. <gasps> Was it the brother? What? Why? Strange. Wall looks like it was put up later than the others. What? A couple of pages missing, torn out. And thus I die in darkness of hunger and thirst. God's have mercy. Oh my god. So the time has come for me to die. The starvation in the dark alone in my own manner while my servants bring in a fresh harvest just beyond those walls. My cries are in vain. No sound escapes from this stony grave. From the tomb that my friend Roderick sealed me in. Yet this is not the worst wrong he has done me. He stole my Dolores. And so I curse him a thousand curses. I call upon Roderick of Gorse Velen, not for taking my life, but for taking from me the one who gave my life meaning. If anyone ever finds my remains in this letter, please seek out my sister, Dolores Reardon, and tell her the truth, that I was killed by the man who seduced her, the man she left me for, the scoundrel Roderick of Gorse Velen. He struck me from behind, dragged me here, and then walled me in while I lay unconscious. He, done it. he did not even have the courage to slit my throat. What? Yet despite it all, I hope he brings her happiness. I, If so, I will rest in peace, but if he fails her, my ghost will haunt him to the end of his miserable life, and he will die as I have, alone and forgotten. I don't even remember how Dolores is... I remember her talking about him. I just don't remember. I think he's dead. I feel like he got dead by the, like, ghouls or the monsters that took over this place. What in the world? All right, well, let's go find Dolores. I need to go tell her what I just found. This is crazy. Hopefully she's still sleeping. I still didn't find a way to get up in this barn. 
I'm just going to walk around this side of it and see if there's a ladder. I don't see anything. I wonder how I get up there. I know there's loot up there because it glows. How do I get up here? This was the place where like we walked in and he had it all booby trapped and he was standing upstairs i just don't remember how we got i thought there was like a ladder i guess the ladder is gone now yeah there was like a ladder right here okay maybe they just take it down as part of the quest because we have to jump through the window i forgot about that i don't know why they would do that but okay hopefully there is nothing good up there Oh, there she is. For what you did, I must thank you again. Lady, we got some news. Managing all right. Hope there wasn't too much monster damage. A bit. Though time, I think, was the greater culprit. But I don't let it worry me. I spent my youth in this house. Restoring its splendor will be a pleasure, not a burden. Got some hard news too, though. Found your brother's corpse bricked up in a wall. And this. So, Roderick, my husband, he killed him. Gods. Sorry. The truth can be cruel, but uh, one can't turn back time. No. I must find this spot. I must bid Humbert farewell. Aww. Is she gonna bid him farewell? I feel like I should go back. What if she gives us more money? <laughs> or something, I don't know. It was like over here, wasn't it? We're just kind of lucky that we found this place. Yeah, I think if she was going to walk over there, she would have started walking. It's so sad. Could you imagine? Not knowing that your husband killed your brother, your twin brother? Like, what reasoning would he have had? I guess some Wind's people are howling. just... Winds howling. Like it's gonna rain? I couldn't even imagine. I wonder if I can... Oh, I made it! I made it! Really not much up here. Just some dust. But we finally did get up here. <laughs> All right, there wasn't really much up here. Okay, I think. Are there any question marks near here? What are our quests that we have around this area? All right, that's the bar fight. I'm not really sure what this is. Something about a race. Where is this race? I'm not sure how we picked it up either. Over here? Okay. Um, 
We're still not really ready to do this one, but we're not that far off. Maybe once we get our blades made um, with like our griffin blades, we can go try to do this one. I think we would probably be fine. I think the name Devil's Pit is what's keeping me away from doing this one before my level. <laughs> um, but we can go do this race and then... What is this one? Why is this a level six? Where's this one at? I'm just trying to clean up some of my side quests that we've taken on but never really did. Okay, so this one's kind of near this one. All right, let's go to the fast travel over here. We'll do this ingredients missing quest and then the race. Um, I thought the fast travel was over here. I know we're doing a lot of fast traveling today, but hopefully next time we won't have to do so much. I'm just trying to clean up our map a little bit because um, I think it's important to do like these question marks and at least some of them um, and clean up some of the side quests. Um, if not for money, then just to uh, help increase our XP. I just think it's a good idea to do some of these side quests. Yeah, a storm is rolling in. Looks like it might not hit us here, though. All right. Master Witcher, there's an elven burial ground in the caverns near about some cops. Get Roach, and then we will go look for whatever this is over here. There's also a guarded treasure vault near it. And a ton of question marks over here. We should we should probably spend some time cleaning up some of these question marks. They won't be as cocky with your arse. Was he talking to me? Lots of wild dogs over here. Drowners too. Is this where the guarded treasure was? Yep, there's something here. Trousers, some florins. Okay. A sodden note. Dear Vessi, couldn't afford to pay for ourselves and Patrick, so we've sent the young lad to you. I know things are tough your way too, that you've three tykes of your own. So know that if I didn't have to, I wouldn't ask of you. But here in Velen, well, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Please care for Patrick like your own son. We'll come back for him soon as the war's over. A thousand thanks, Hannah. Yes, Patrick's got a sack of coin in his bags. Enough to pay his guide what we agreed on. You shouldn't have to add anything of your own. Oh. Patrick's afraid of the dark. If you can, leave a candle burning by his bed. It's one thing when you can tell that the parents really don't care where their children go. They just, they're kind of like, I can't deal with it anymore. Like, you just go take care of it. But that note made it seem like they really do care um, about their son and they just got completely annihilated, this entire family, trying to get the son to a better place really sad. Okay. 
it's really hard to see like oh a hag drowners and a water hag favorites that's my favorites my thoughts exactly my thoughts exactly water hags are probably my least favorite in this game for a myriad of, pe of reasons <laughs> highway man's notes and they say crime doesn't pay ha huh. never heard greater effing rubbish in my life pays like mad we took so much from that old saw that we don't drink up in a year's time not even if we write down Mahakaman spirit like it's water and chase it with dry white from Buclair. Some might blather nonsense about the gods punishing us and whatnot, but I'm too old to believe in fairy tales. Well, next stop, Novigrad. We'll see what we took and live like kings. Wait, did he capture them? Or was he with this family that was trying to bring the sun here? That was... That note seemed very strange. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's go find these missing ingredients here. Wide, heavy wheels, a merchant's wagon. The fast travel sign. Went off the road. Oh, there's a wheel. Merchant traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Hmm, unfortunate. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cataplepis. Wonder what spell requires that. Hmm. Package for Kira. Still intact. Don't sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one an artery. Can't be far. Wouldn't have made it. Okay, so I actually completely forgot that this quest. It's funny because I was talking about doing the Kira quest line today, and I actually didn't realize that this was part of the Kira quest line. I thought we were just going to like search for something that we found on a notice board. I did not read the quest before I did it, <laughs> and normally I'm good about that. So I read from Zubran, <laughs> Southern Slope, notes of black currant and citrus. Uh, Pains the heart. Black currants and citrus. What's this? It's kind of like a happy, happy surprise that we ended up on this quest because this is one of the ones that I wanted to do today. Come on! Shit. Oh, he's gonna explode. Oh no. Hit waited for help. It never came. Aww. That's Velen for you. Oh no. Volker, we've hit gold, old friend. Not only have we sold all of our stock, we've sold it for three times its cost. Our customer wants it all. Wine from Blue Claire, everything from Biolge Lace, Novois, <laughs> to the oldest vintages, white, red, rosé, you name it. Catobola, past meat, pickled beef, pepper, cinnamon, cloves. I'm telling you, old friend, everything. There's one catch, however. We must deliver the goods to Velen, to a village near called Midcops. I know, I know, dangerous. What with the war and all, but think of the coin. I've managed to secure a pass that will get across the Pontar. Then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump, and you're there. You'll be fine. Claws. Yes, we'll split the proceeds 50-50. So Kira sent this man on a suicide mission, pretty much.
because she didn't want to go get all of her stuff herself. All of her wine and her pickled beef and her cinnamon and cloves. <sighs> so this man died trying to trek across because the coin was enticing, especially during a time like this. Well... What's in our hair? Did we get some sort of like blood in our hair? Looks gross. You need to take a bath. I do wish that there was some sort of like, um, like a bathing house or somewhere where you could actually sit and sit at a bar or <laughs> sit at like one of the pubs and I just feel like it would be a bit more immersive if we could do that in this game. Or stay at an inn. Somewhere to catch the local bard shows. <laughs> I feel like that would be really neat. Oh, there's a mama one. Mountain Folk Boots. Enhanced Swallow. <gasps> nice! That's a good manuscript to find. I'm excited about that one. Let's see if we can craft it. Very nice. We can also make Enhanced Thunderbolt if we find Alkahest. I'll have to remember Alkahest. We need it for this one too. Cockatrice, stomach, robedo. Okay. Okay. What's this? All right. Some backstabbing cowards have deserted Crow's perch. Oh, we've seen these. The notices everywhere about the traders. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of like do a couple of these on our way to Kira's. That merchant was so close to getting there and unfortunately just didn't make it. It's very sad. All for Kira's pickled beets and fine wine. Oh yeah, I have to use Axie. For some reason, I keep thinking it's Ard that I can just like blow their shield off, but it's Axie to Jedi mind trick. Where did those guys come from? That was strange. Okay. I'll get this guy. probably do without some of those cutscenes. They're they're pretty cool because he shows his moves, but they're pretty gory. In beast clothing, they entered his hut and began to search. First they tore through his bed. Dried twigs covered the sheets. That was their first proof. For werewolves return at dawn after a night of hunting. Their bare feet covered in the forest droppings. They found the second proof under his bed. A wolf's hide. The werewolf surely dressed himself in it when transforming with the Sudic Sun and shed it again when he turned to a man the next day. Having found these powerful proofs, they ceased deliberation and began to hunt, vowing to find the lycanthrope. Uh, I think it, yeah, lycanthrope 
Um, and bind him in silver chains. Is this the same message again? Yeah. Okay, where's the last question mark before we head to Kira's? It's on this path. Oh, I'm heavy. Okay. I was like, I think I'm bugged because I can't move fast, but I have too much on me. <laughs> Hopefully we can sell some stuff to Kira. Can I ride Roach while I'm heavy? I think I can. We are really living our men in tights life today. <laughs> That's dead. With this, um... This armor set. Tramping through the woods. Sulfur, silver, more loot. Hopefully we can sell some stuff soon. Let's go see Kira now. There is also this town here. I don't know if they have a merchant of some sort, but I think they might. Typical farming settlement. Okay. Oops. Which is like, you're too heavy. I wonder if we can yell at Kira for sending that merchant on a death wish. Or if we're just going to be nice Slow to her down. and be Whoa. like, here's your stuff. <laughs> I wonder. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. No. <laughs> Um, we can buy from her after. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Yeah. <laughs> Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But he must wait a bit. What? Is she gonna try to seduce us? Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. Hmm. I have a feeling she's going to try to seduce You've us. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? What? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. Painful. What happened to the third mouse? Third mouse? What happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% .67 chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So a lot of sixes. Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A Zugu cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about Zoogles. Now, to return to the fairy tale, I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. 
I don't need a fairy godmother. I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? <laughs> I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. Um... It's funny that this isn't, like, advancing us. Like, I could still say this to her, which I want to say. She just got these people murdered because she wanted to seduce us? Why couldn't she just go get the things herself? Why did she have to murder somebody, get someone murdered to go get us wine and sausage? This is interesting. I don't know what to think. I'm not sure if Kira's in any of the previous witchers. Um, from what I know from her so far, she seems friendly enough. She has that, that sorceress, um, attitude where, I mean, they're all very confident, which they should rightfully be so. They're all very well off and they lead very magical lives. I really want to say this to her though. I don't really mind going on a date with Kira. Like, honestly, I, I don't think I mind. I just don't appreciate the fact that she knew that the merchant man was going to be in trouble, especially during times of war. And yet she still set out and did it. But the thought is nice that she wanted to do it secretively. I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. I don't want to shag you in the bushes, but to share a pleasant evening. But if no, then no. Oh, all right. I'll do it. I feel honored. Truly. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Hmm. Why can't... You don't like my men in tights armor, Kira? Why not? Um... I feel like what we're wearing is fine, but why not? Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gavella Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair color while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Wait, she did change her hair? Oh dishes. no. Like, I'm pretty sure our hair was still the same. Race go, Kira go. to the meadow? Oh, we're racing. I don't know. I feel like this is nice. It's important to have fun sometimes in such a dark, dreary world, especially after what we went yeah, through yeah. with the Baron. Whoa, Cinderella. I we mean, even if we are just friends. As fast as you can. Try to catch me. This is still fun. It's nice to let loose sometimes. I don't think Yen would approve of what we're doing right now. I wonder if she's gonna yell at us later. Okay, I'm going this way. Oops. There was a side quest over there. Oh, look. Aww. <laughs> this is kind of sweet. I mean, it stinks that someone had to get hurt for this, but. <laughs> Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? 
it was worth the trouble, I'm not gonna say that. You could have told me. I would have gotten them for her instead of sending somebody on a death errand. Could have just told me what this was about, Rhino. <laughs> Geralt, run to the woods and fetch my shopping. I'd like to make dinner. Well, would you have helped? If I'd known I'd get a glass of Zubaran dry in return, of course. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. How's that? How, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, you'd think the only work to be had in Velen would be in farming. <laughs> Very true. So, I've two options. I can either start cultivating turnips or leave. But mm -hmm. that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why, I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Mm, I didn't destroy the workshop. Didn't destroy that workshop, if that's what you're asking. Didn't see any reason to. If Alexander's findings were to fall into the wrong hands. Oh. Although, Fike Isle has a terrible reputation. None even dare go there. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. Oh! So? I'm gonna say sorry there's someone else. I don't think that we should embark on this adventure with Kira. We're already kind of in a triangle, at least from my what I know about the show. I don't know enough back history. I'm gonna say sorry, there's someone else. Sorry, there's someone else. <laughs> so what? Oh, Geralt, Geralt. You're so old fashioned. Will you at least lie down and gaze at the stars with me? <laughs> Why not? I don't mind being friends and like having time together. Know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no, it has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Eggvain Navi. Oh. Kira, where? Okay, I thought she was gonna like. With a spell means she's up to something. I thought she was gonna do something. <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower. Hmm. So she went to Fike Isle, probably. Hmm. What is Kira up to? Character entry updated. I know what Kira's doing, yeah. For the advancement of learning. And she was just talking about how if it was fallen into the wrong hands. <gasps> Kira! Hmm. And our bags are full. We should have sold, sold her stuff. <laughs> oh man, we're just making all sorts of mistakes today. All right, I'm gonna ride my, I'm gonna ride over to Oriton. Hopefully there's someone here that I can at least sell a little bit to. Just so I can get this weight off. If not, we can fast travel. Cause we have like that saddle to sell and some other random, random things. Then we can go see what Kira's up to. I should have known.
You were tricked by her good looks. Okay, I think this is the town. Yeah, it's like in here. Why would she trick us like that? We were just being so friendly. Got a problem. Send for Geralt of All right, let's see if there's somebody in here. Oh, I remember this town. It's where we sent Millie. Okay, there is a merchant in here. And then we can take one of the boats. I think I saw a boat symbol by the water here. All right, show me your wares. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. All right, he doesn't have too much coin, but I'm going to go ahead and sell him just some of these pieces and some of these as well. We're like back underweight now, which is good. So much stuff. What is this? Blinders. 16 coin. Uh, okay. Farewell. All right. Nice. We can walk normal again. All right. There's a boat. Was that other boat closer? No, about the same. Let's go get on this boat. Go see what Kira is up to and why she tricked us. Where's the grinding stone? We should repair our stuff real quick. Let's see if he can repair our things. Our silver swords at like 68%. Yeah. Need something crafted. Can you take a look? Yeah, he can't make. Yeah, he's not good enough to make the the griffin sword. Okay, let's go ahead and just repair everything. So long. Here's the boat. I can imagine like Geralt like mumbling to himself like Kira, got to go see what you're doing now, <laughs> like on his way here. Like angrily driving this boat over to this aisle. Yeah, and we were we were being good friends. We were. Uh, we're being good friends. Oh look, it's all like lit up in there. What could she possibly be doing in there? I mean, I know his study was like something she felt very deeply about. Okay. Before we go in there, um, there was an update on her character, so I'm just gonna read it real quick. Why does the water look red here? It has like a weird red tone to it. And we have a point available.
Okay. I don't know if we've actually read Kira's. Gerald first met Kira Metz when she literally dropped on top of him out of nowhere. During the infamous coup of the Ned Island, Kira was defenestrated and nearly landed right on the Witcher's head. The next time Gerald saw her in the swamps of Velen was shockingly in a different way. The luxury-loving sorceress was the last person he expected to see in such a grim and barren place. Geralt later learned that the reason for this and Kira's fate gave him ample fodder for contemplating the cruel whimsies of the Wheel of Fortune. Once the esteemed advisors to the once the esteemed advisor to the now late King Foltest, she had been chased out of Temeria when she lost that ruler's trust. Later, she joined the Lodge of Sorceresses, which earned her the hatred of Redanian's king and Nilfgaard's emperor alike. Because of this, she had gone deep undercover, posing as a cunning woman, a village witch of sorts, deep in the Velen boondocks. It was not at all difficult to tell that she despised every minute of this. Kira then asked Geralt for another favor, lifting the curse from the tower on Fike Isle. Curses and favors being what Geralt does best, he obliged. Kira had never stopped longing for the luster of life at a royal court. Thatched roofed huts could hardly compare to elegant ballrooms and a palace garden. One day she decided to organize an interlude from Velen's grim atmosphere by treating herself to a sumptuous meal. Acquiring the refined ingredients proved less trouble than finding an appropriate dinner partner. That is until Geralt showed up. The Witcher gladly accepted the sorceress's invitation for dinner, but showing unusual restraint, turned down by her other, decidedly unambiguous propositions. Sadly, an evening that, that started out so nicely ended quite unfortunately for the Witcher. Kira put him in a deep sleep. Clearly, she wanted to hide something from him. All right. Very interesting. She has a history for being deceitful. Seeing as how her last couple jobs didn't really pan out. I kind of remember her talking about the reason why she was here, but I actually had forgotten that she ran away here because she was in hiding, not because like she was in between jobs. Light. Top floor of the tower. Oh boy. And she was the one that figured out about Fike Isle and wanted us to help. When she could have just done it herself. Thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Oh, my God. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face, or I might think you don't like me anymore. I don't. Like two-faced serpents. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't just come off. I want to know what she's going to do with those plans. What are you playing at? What are you playing? I want to know what she's playing Didn't come at. come here to play games. I want to know what you're up to. Naturally, you suspect me of the worst. I don't deserve that. My intentions are pure, like a virgin's tears. Yeah, sure. Ugh, his face. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't strictly she just tell us? Strictly humanitarian tell motivations, is that it? Nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. 
Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Radovid never forgets. <laughs> At least that's what it seems like. Uh. Radovid doesn't forget, and Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. Please, you don't believe that. Well, you believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday. Don't see me laughing. I'm going to see Radovid. Tell him of this research, whether you like it or not. What a biatch. Oh my gosh. I want to tell Radovid, tell him of his research, whether you like it or not. Um, see. Yeah, do what you want. I can't let you do that. It's suicide. I feel like it would be suicide. I don't really know this Radovid fellow all that well, but I don't know. I feel like if it was like solely just like that she was gonna make a cure and a medication and like all of this would be eradicated based on like a vaccine because of a vaccine, I feel like she would have just told us that. Where, why was she hiding it like this and just sweeping it under the carpet? I mean, obviously she's searching for a way to get back into good rain, like good spirits with Radovid. I'm just gonna say it's suicide. This is suicide, Kira. You'll wind up tied to a stake. Because she's wanted. To most of the morals of the masses while entertaining them. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bed bugs, Geralt. Bloody bed bugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bed bugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. I mean, yeah, she could go hide out at Karamoran, but I feel like she would hate it there. I want to say expect me to pity you with the whole bed bug spiel. Uh, maybe I'll just tell her to go to Karamoran and see what she says. Got another option. Go to Karamoran. You believe I'd be safe there? As long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid... Neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. Um, yeah, I'll take the notes. Yeah, kinda. So before I go, I'll need you to hand me those notes. All right, all right, take them already. Farewell, Geralt. Or rather, see you soon. Hmm, I hope we made the right choices there. That was a very... Intense situation. There was a lot going on. But we did get the notes. And Kira isn't going on a suicide mission. I feel like as soon as they saw Kira, they would just kill her. And then the town would like, I, I mean, obviously benefit from Alexander's notes. But who knows what they could have done with them. Like she said when we were having dinner with her, the notes put into the wrong hands could be bad. So I feel like overall, and this will probably bite me in the butt in the next episode or later, um, but I think it's best that Kira went to Karmorin. 
And I think it's best that we have the notes. Because I don't trust the notes with anybody else. Are these the notes? How do we read them? E. So this is a cure. One droplet from a colony of plague bacteria diluted in 100 quarts of pure water is sufficient to induce infection. In the absence of medical care, the il illness terminates in death in 93% of cases. When medical care is provided, the illness terminates in death in 89% of cases. Individuals who survive develop complete immunity to the disease. Undertaking either of these would require an enormous dedication of time and means, neither of which, sad to say, I possess at the moment. I wonder what we end up doing with these notes eventually. I don't think there was like a quest update for this at all. While meandering through the sunny but war-damaged lands near Oxenfurt, Geralt's sensitive ears picked up a very strange sound. Something off-key singing and bellowing of a struck pig. Geralt could be a poor excuse for a witcher if it did not investigate such matters. I didn't even see this pop up. All right, we'll end with one more for today. Um, I think that we should go do this one. We could do, do a, go do a contract though. We have a few to choose from. Collect the agreed on reward. Oh, this one's just collecting. How did we not collect the near the village? Co oh, down Warren. Find out what's killing the people in the fog. All right, so I'm just gonna travel across to Down Warren. It'll just be like a short boat ride, but I'll see you guys over there. I hope we made the right decision with Kira. I don't know how we're gonna use the notes eventually, but I feel like her being deceitful like that, just kind of like, it made me not wanna have her turn the notes in. I don't know. I hope that I didn't like ruin her freedom or ruin a cure to a vaccine. We're gonna have to go visit her at some point and see how she's doing over there. Hopefully she's safe. I feel like I've parked in the same spot one time before. So we'll go in this way. Witcher, greetings. Where's my coin? Oh, wait, this was the guy. Oh, this was the guy that we had to come back in a week's time. I forgot about this guy. I want my coin. Where is it? There, take it. Twice the sum as agreed. I keep my word. Sure, second time around. Never mind. Thank you and farewell. All right, well, he kept his promise and we got our 240 coin. Or that was experience points. 499 coin, wow, worth it. Definitely worth coming back. <laughs> I forgot about that whole waiting a week thing. Okay, anything else that we can kind of just tie up loose ends? Defeat Smithy. Does it tell me where to defeat this guy? Ah, oh, he's over here. All right, let's go defeat Smithy real quick. Um, And then that will probably be our last 
Come on, Roach. Our last quest that we can do for today. It was lots of side questing today. Um, I think next time we will definitely head to Triss. I am ready to get started in the next part of the main quest. I feel like we've picked up a lot of um a lot of split ends here. Hopefully we can find someone to craft our swords where Triss is in Novigrad. What's this? Not one step closer, or you have a lie with the other sticks. What? What are they doing? Oh, they're they're looting them. Get him! Come on! He's ours! There's another guy. Just like, what are they doing? I thought they were like putting them to rest or. No, they're just looting them. Of course. Ooh, some Alcahest. Nice. We needed that. We can make one of these potions, the enhanced thunderbolt. Nice. Okay. Let's keep going. Faster. I'm going to go up this way so we can use the fast travel to get over to that other area. Need to follow up that. Oh, woo! holy! Wow, that was intense. Okay. I thought sometimes they like fly around because they have a nest in the area, but maybe we just caught this guy when he was out looking for food or something. I don't see a nest anywhere. There is a question mark up here. I'm going to go try to see what that is. I pinpointed it. Oh, we can't climb there. Just some rock climbing. Oh yeah, there's something up there. It looks like maybe a place of power. Yeah, a place of power. Nice. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. One ability point. Nice. All right. Okay. Let me find this fast travel. It's not that far away. I'm just gonna rock climb there. <gasps> oh, that was scary. swarm of them. All right. Hmm. 
go fight this guy. Smithy. Let's see what kind of reward we get for it. He is our last dude we gotta fight. What about them mines that took the wenches from Bellows? Nope. Smithy here is village champion. His head had looked lovely on your walls. Where's the bucky? There he is. Looked to me like a fierce fisted fighter. Just right for our tournament. It's your chance to slap around some yokels, win some coin for the pleasure. You in? Okay. <laughs> um, let's do like 20. I'm ready to fight. One and all, hear this. <laughs> Betting on the next brawl will begin in mere moments. The witcher will face Smithy. He'll pound his gob like he pounds hot iron ingots. I did 20 because I was worried he was going to be like that first guy. I should have bet more. That first guy really made me feel like I shouldn't be betting high for these. Could have gotten some easy coin. Oh, he got me. I like how we take off our shirt. Not bad. Might be champion yet. <laughs> if it's the reigning champion you seek, head to Crow's Perch and ask for the sergeant. The reigning champion. <laughs> the reigning champion. All right. I don't know what that means, but... Let's go see. I think he said that if I won all three, they would give me some coin. But maybe it's just like a title or something. I don't know. Oh, these guys are fighting. Used to be wagon Sergeant. I'm ready. Ah, look who we have here. Oh, the Baron. I wonder if they talk about him like he's still... Business seems good, even with the Baron gone. Life's short, but art's eternal. Hello there. All right, let's fight. I'm gonna do the 80, cause... I'm pretty sure I'll win. Start. All right, come to daddy. Come to... Fury. What a fight! Let it be known by one and all that the Witcher has defeated the sergeant and become champion of all Velen. If you've not had your fill, you'll find worthy pugilists elsewhere. Plenty of them in Novigrad. Plenty in the Skelliger Isles. If only me man ever getting tossed at the tavern. Okay. Well, we got some XP. Oh, we got 160 crown because we bet that much. Nice. And we finished up another quest. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of The Witcher 3. I do want to take a moment real quick to say thank you so much uh, for helping this YouTube channel grow. I just recently applied for partner yesterday and I was already approved for partner on this channel. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed, commented, liked, helped these videos get into that extra special algorithm. I did not think that doing my very first playthrough on this channel would be so amazingly, overwhelmingly um, successful. So thank you guys so much for all of your love to these videos. I genuinely just appreciate all of it. Um, it has been 
a really, really awesome journey so far, and I'm excited to see where this takes us. I hope that you all enjoyed your time here today. I will see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.